From the studio that brought you Tim Burton's Batman, the second Tim Burton's Batman, that third Batman with Jim Carrey, the worst Batman movie ever, and The Big Lebowski. All right, sure. Get ready for the classic tale of an African-American Muslim boxer's legendary fight in Zaire, now the Democratic Republic of the Congo, a country in Africa, as seen through the lens of this white guy. Uh, I approached him and said, uh, we're going to be with you for a while. I'm gonna go to Africa with you. And his first reaction was, uh, stay out of my way just uh, you know fine but don't get in my way yeah duh that's Muhammad Ali sit back take in director Leon Gast's unique interpretation of Ali's glory years that we definitely haven't seen time and time and time and time and time and time again Watch as he covers the people, the places, the music, and the experts, who are also conveniently all white dudes. Pounding the heavy bag. There'll be. If you like sports and cultural documentation that only references the white opinion and experience, then this is definitely for you. Seriously, where are all the women in this video? Oh, there's one. And another. Really? And hey, and hey, it's Muhammad Ali's mother. At least she's in the film for like about 30 seconds. But seriously, folks, Leon didn't think to conduct an interview with Ali's former wife, Sanji Roy, or his then current wife, Belinda Boyd, or Veronica Porsche, the woman he was having an affair with while this movie was being filmed, and the woman who would later become Ali's third wife. But it can't be all that bad, right? At least the film was biased enough to win the 1997 Academy Award for Best Documentary Feature. My colleague in this enterprise will now reveal the winner. The Oscar goes to When We Were Kings, Leon Gass and David Sondheim. However, luckily there are more than just white guys interested in documenting the life of Ali. Like this white woman, for instance, Claire Lewis. Well, you know what? There have been so many books, films, documentaries done about your father. So what inspired you all to collaborate with this project to get it done, and why now? Well, Claire actually was doing the film, and we met her for the first time, did the interview, and she showed us one little 30-second clip, clip of her film, and we thought it was just brilliant. So I then just said, you know what, let me just show you this. I had a CD based on, the, it, my father gave me these recordings years ago, and I made a little composition together, like on iTunes or something. I put something together for him and let her watch it and see, you know, listen to it, and she just fell in love with it. So. Now, Claire, how did you hope to make this documentary different from all the other projects about Ali that have come out over the decades? Well, I think I was a bit naive, really. I mean, I just, you know, I don't look like the sort of woman that would take on a film about one of the heavyweight champions in the world. No. And, um, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's how's she um, No, this? I'm more of a flyweight. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but I didn't even think about it. I just thought it was a great story. I've always been fascinated by him. And every single person in England, I don't know what taxi drivers are like in this country, but they say, because I was always carrying loads of books and I had lots of archive, and they say, what are you doing, love? What are you doing? I said, well, I'm making this film about Muhammad Ali. And they say, oh, I don't want to be funny with you, but how are you going to make that different? It will, you know, and I just wanted to do it from a different perspective, really. And I think Claire, with her women in, woman's intuition, saw that who is the man, who's the father? And she just, like I said, Han, the tapes Hannah has and her perspective, it really does give a a, a new view to Muhammad Ali and Ali fans are, are going to see this movie and go this is something different. Witness a truly unique look at Ali's life beyond the ropes as a father, a lover and a husband as Claire Lewins places the women in the spotlight like Ali's daughters. Yes. Yeah. What y'all doing? Downstairs watching television. You yeah, were Maymay. Downstairs? Don't tell them I'm putting them on. Okay. Yes? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, Daddy. How's my daughter? Fine. Uh, we went to go see Papa Bird. May May is my, you know, we, we have different mother, mm -hmm. but we're like best friends, you know, there's, there's eight of us, there's nine mm -hmm. of us total, and everyone gets along because hey, we're all friends, yeah. we're all buddies, and that's because of my father, yeah. you know? I mean, we had a life under a microscope, um, yeah. but we, my father knew how to process his life and his fame with his kids to really 
allow us to learn the lessons from his life. He, he really did. And, you know, yes, we had to share him with the world, but his humility, his spirit, it's just really contagious. And we knew, man, that, that his heart is right. And, you know, it's kind of hard to go against that. And he did, you know, walk the talk, but he knew he made mistakes. And he was able to come to us and say, you know, I've made mistakes. I did this wrong. So, I mean, you know, I just have to admire that. Mathematics was the key to set my whole race free. You might debate we, a refugee, no harm hurt me. Dying thirsty from the struggle.